this creature didn't hunt the T-Rex, it erased it. Picture the Cretaceous period. A lone Tyrannosaurus rex patrols its territory. It's the apex predator, the undisputed king. Nothing dares challenge it, or so it thinks. Suddenly, the water's edge erupts. A head, bigger than the T-Rex's entire body, lunges from the depths. This isn't just a crocodile. This is Sarcosuchus, the supercroc. It stretches over 40 feet long, twice the length of a modern saltwater crocodile. Its jaws are lined with over a hundred thick, bone-crushing teeth. Each one is a railroad spike designed to puncture and shatter. The T-Rex roars, a sound that makes the forest tremble. But the Sarcosuchus is silent. It doesn't need to roar. Its power is absolute. It clamps down on the Rex's midsection. The pressure is immense. Over 18,000 pounds per square inch. Bones don't just break, they turn to dust. The king of the dinosaurs is lifted, thrashed, and dragged beneath the surface in seconds. The water turns red, then settles. Silence returns. But here's the twist. Scientists once thought Sarcosuchus was the ultimate river monster, a top-tier predator of its time. But recent discoveries tell a different story. They found fossils of another creature from the same rivers, Dinosuchus. It was even bigger, more powerful. Its bite force could have been even greater, capable of crushing a T-Rex skull like a grape. Sarcosuchus wasn't the king of the river. It was just a prince. So, while one monster dragged a T-Rex to its doom, an even bigger titan was lurking nearby, watching, waiting. The true ruler of the water had yet to reveal itself, and its appetite was far, far greater.